You know, a painting can provide a reminder of the good things in life, the reason why we work so hard in the first place. It reminds us to slow down, to enjoy nature, to make memories with our children, and to be thankful for a place called home. My paintings are all about celebrating the home, creating in the home a place of peace and comfort and joy. So today when you look at my brand new painting, I hope you can take a moment to pause and count your blessings. It was really on my heart to capture the lights of Christmas and the light of moonlight in one painting. That painting is Christmas Moonlight, and I'm very excited because this is the first piece in a series that will capture Christmas in different times of day and under different types of natural light. When I was composing the painting, I envisioned a pathway leading to the little cottage and had the whimsical idea of a footbridge, a stone footbridge leading to the cottage. Of course, I wanted water surrounding the cottage so that I could take that luminous effect of moonlight and cascade it down over the landscape and reflect that moonlight in the water. The delicate limbs of the tree seem to reach out over the composition and provide almost a comforting sense of enclosure. The fields of snow that roll out into the horizon provide a deep space, which is a nice contrast with the intimacy of the setting. In Christmas moonlight, we can look into the distance and find a rural setting, perhaps a barn with a light on, suggesting that someone is there, perhaps a caretaker, or even that someone is working, finishing the chores for the evening in preparation for coming home on a Christmas Eve. The effect of moonlight is only one of the lighting effects I used in this painting. I enjoyed painting the Christmas lights along the cottage and even on the old weathered handrail that extends across the footbridge. I put a lot of detail into the stonework, but also into the foliage itself. There is a time when the snow is very fresh and it seems like every form of nature, all the foliage and the limbs of the trees, get coated individually with the snow. And that's the effect I wanted, as though this was a fresh fallen snow on a winter's evening. The cottage itself is a complex design. I utilized a lot of subforms, the little dormers, the sense of the main gable with its glowing window. We can even see a Christmas tree inside that window if you look carefully enough. I used the effect of the wisps of smoke curling up from the chimneys as a way of suggesting that this was the stillness of a winter's evening. Because of all the different effects of light that we see in this painting, you really have an entrancing sense of luminous glow as you dim the lights on the painting. You can take the painting from early evening down into a richer palette as perhaps it is reaching the darkest point of the evening. And then as you bring the lights back up, you will really see the glow intensify as though the colors themselves are being charged with electricity and beginning to glow even more intensely. There are a lot of different materials used in the cottage, and this is something that I discovered living in England, that because the structures were built oftentimes over centuries with bits added on here and there as different owners, different families were in residence, you would see different materials. Perhaps stone was used at one point and brick was used in another area, and sometimes the two were mixed. And you really have a sense of whimsy that the cottage becomes a living organism that grows almost as though the cottage were a part of the landscape. People often say they can step into my paintings and this one is really one that invites you in. You step along that snowy pathway and imagine yourself crossing that footbridge and stepping up to the cottage, perhaps knocking on the door. You would be welcome in a cottage like this. 
I have for the past few years attempted an interesting experiment where I have reinterpreted paintings, taken a subject that I had painted in fall colors, for example, and reinterpreted it as a Christmas scene. For example, my famous painting Cobblestone Bridge was reinterpreted as a Christmas scene entitled Cobblestone Christmas and became very successful. This year, I wanted to create an entirely new image, a brand new vision of the holidays. That is what we see in Christmas Moonlight, a celebration of the great tradition of Christmas Eve and the family memories associated with Christmas Eve. It is a classic image of Yuletide spirit. In fact, as I worked on the painting, I often felt as though you could hear the jangling of bells as though Santa's sleigh were coming down for a landing out in the field. What a wonderful place to celebrate Christmas. I hope this painting has inspired your heart as together we share the light. God bless.